Big Bear Dave. Hey, little guy. Are you in laser tag? Hmm. Hey, Chica, are you making Gregory pizza? Hey, little superstar, are you in the arcade? Oh, where could he be? I must have lost him. Oh, there you are, my little superstar. Wait a minute. He traveled all the way across the United States just to give Mr. Beast a penny? Little Bean, where you been? I've been looking all over for you. I've been right here, Freddy, looking at Ryan Trahan videos. Oh, I see. So that's why we haven't uploaded a video in over a month. Yeah, pretty much that. That and Big Bird Dave probably had writer's block. Which I don't understand, because there's only three real plots to an episode. One, we do a cover of an internet meme. Two, we ship a random character with another random character. Or three, we introduced a new character, which is technically an old character, but it's their glam rock version. Hi, what are you doing here? And glam rock version of a character it is. It's after hours. No children allowed at the pizza plex. First of all, that's the little bee, and he gets to stay wherever he wants in here. Secondly, just who do you think you are? I'm Glamrock Lefty, and I just happen to be the new owner of this pizza plex. And what I say goes, and I definitely say this little child has to go. <laughs> oh, no, 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 buddy. I don't think you get it. This is my best friend, and by no means are you throwing him out of this pizza plex. If you throw him out, you gotta throw me out. Now, try having a pizza plex without Freddy. Huh, you can't, can ya? Huh, I guess he can have a pizza plex without Freddy. Oh gosh, what are we gonna do, Freddy? Hey guys, Big Bear Dave here. But before we get into the question part of this video, I, I just wanted to give a big thank you to every single person who sent their good wishes and prayers to my dad. I just want to let you know, right now he's in the hospital and he is healing surely but slowly. And they said it's going to take about two months for him to get completely better. And it, I, it just makes me really sad. I, because of my mom's schedule, I only get to see my dad maybe once every three days now. But I just really wanted to thank you guys for all your positive prayers, and I'll definitely keep you updated on it. And I promise, since summertime's here, I'll make a lot more episodes if I can. Thank you guys again so much. Shh! Sorry guys, the little bean's finally taking a little nap. But don't go anywhere, because we got all your questions being asked by us, the animatronics, in Ask the Animatronics. Don't go anywhere guys. You too, my little bean. You don't go anywhere either, my little superstar. What's Chico's favorite pizza? Who does Roxy have a crush on? Will Monty ever, ever get a girlfriend? All these questions and many, many more today answered on Ask the Animatronics. The first question is from MMZ and is for Roxy. MMZ says, Question for Roxy. Almighty Roxanne Wolf, it is I, once again, in desperate need of your help. So, Queen of all Queens, please, tell me, why exactly do you hate Frey so much? Okay, MMZ, I gotta applaud you for the intro to that question. Very charming, very charming. But as I've said before, I don't hate Freddy. I hate the fact that he simps to me so much. I mean, I would say he looks like a lost puppy coming to me for attention, but we have a lost puppy in Fetch, and I feel like I'd be insulting him if I compared him to Freddy. Honestly, if he had a little more confidence, maybe I might consider dating him a long, long time from now after Gregory's all grown up and gone to college. Actually, no, not even then. The next question is from Out of the Blue Animations and Gaming, and is for all of us. Question for the Glamrocks, what are your phobias? 
Well, I mean, I really didn't have a phobia until I had something that's worth losing. And I guess my phobia is, I'm afraid I'll lose Chica because my life's been so happy since I got together with her. So my phobia is definitely breaking up with Chica, which I hope never ever happens. Well, my phobia used to be running out of pizza, but I found something I actually like a lot more than pizza. And it turns out to be Monty. He turned out to be the sweetest, most loving person I ever met in my life. And he's not even a person. He's a robot alligator. Go figure. But definitely, my biggest phobia is losing Monty. Hands down, my biggest phobia is waking up and being something different. It doesn't matter who or what, because anything less than being me is terrifying of a thought. Oh, I could be anything and it would be absolutely terrible. Oh, God forbid, I could be Freddy. Penguins. Lots and lots of penguins. I will never forget that dark day. The next question is from Edia Garcia and is for me. Question for Freddy. Can you take little Gregory to preschool? Well, Ida, as soon as Gregory does a little bit of growing up, of course I'm gonna take him to preschool. But it kind of makes me sad. I got so attached to the little old bean that I don't know what I would do. Just sit around and help out with everything here at the Pizza Plex. But when the time comes, I definitely will take the little bean out. Yeah, I'm gonna miss them when he goes away. He won't be able to manipulate me. He won't be able to convince other people to date other people. He won't be getting other people arrested. He won't... Huh. You know, come to think of it, maybe I'll take him to preschool a little sooner than I thought. The final question is from your trigger man. And is for Roxy. Question for Roxy. Why are you so mean? All Freddy tries to do is be nice to you, but you have been nothing but a bully for the past few days. Shame on you, Roxy. Shame. Well, Mr. Trigger Man, how about shame on you? You call me cruel and mean and a bully because I'm not nice to Freddy. Do you ever think that it might be seen cruel and being a bully to try to force me into a relationship that I don't want? Hmm? Do you ever think of that? Because it seems that's all that Freddy tries to do. He tries to date me. And yes, I get it. He has a crush on me. Who wouldn't have a crush on me? I'm freaking perfect. But the bottom line is, no means no. No matter how many people think how cute the relationship is, no means no. That's all we have time for today, Bear Cubs. Thank you to all of you for sending in your questions. Now, if we didn't get your question today, don't worry. Just type it again, and we promise we'll get to it as soon as possible. And if you got new questions, don't be afraid to put them right down as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time, guys.